Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel for this week's edition of Market Outlook. La Liga team of the season is going on right now. We've had a lot of interesting things happening on the market. We're going to talk about SBCs that happened today that did not give out their proper cards. I'm sure you guys are aware about that. And of course, the supply and demand issue with the UCL rare cards, which are impossible and extinct to find on the market for people to complete this SBC, which a lot of people are trying to complete because it's a cool SBC, you get packs from it, um, and EA have yet to address that as well. Um, but I also wanna take a look at what we should see throughout the rest of this week uh, with market movements and of course content upcoming. It's a little bit more predictable right about now because this team of the season promotion has kind of acted the same for the last three weeks with Premier League, uh, even starting with most consistent Premier League, and then um, into last week's Bundesliga, uh, each week has been pretty similar. So starting with today on Monday, you're gonna see again the start of um, the upgrade packs. So those packs are probably gonna be released onto the store, into the store on Monday, uh, today when this video goes live. So watch out for those packs again. If you stacked up on your La Liga rares, that's a GG, you're gonna save some coins on doing you know, some of the first rounds of these packs, depending on how many you bought. And if you um, are gonna sell those, you're probably gonna make some decent coin off of those as well. I would just be careful though. I don't think they're gonna drop a different upgrade SBC, but I think it is possible if they, they, they did end up doing that. But we have a lot of craftable SBCs um, that they have put out. Now that we have the Sergio Ramos, which is very craftable once these upgrade packs will be coming out. Diego Godin, you could even say, is decently craftable. And the Inaki Williams card that we got today, um, I think are pretty craftable squads. You know, getting some high-rated high players, maybe a couple uh, lower-level TOTS cards from those packs, the upgrade packs, you could toss them in and do these cards if you so wish. Um, I'll probably go for the Ramos, maybe for the Godin, just to have them, uh, just to kind of craft them from doing a lot of a lot of packs for the rest of this week. Um, but I also need to talk about the SBC. It's not showing. I think they took it off of the store. The guaranteed Super League Team of the Season SBC is not in the store right now. I did it today, and I'm sure a lot of you guys did as well, and it actually gave out rare gold players, not a Team of the Season player. Um, so that's going to be very interesting to see what EA does with that. They haven't really commented anything on that yet. They just said they're going to be saying more stuff about that here in the next couple of days. Uh, so I would expect to see that SBC re-released. And um, the thing that I'm really interested about is some people that packed actual cards that should have... Uh, I saw somebody pack Usman Dembele from that SBC, his gold card that obviously should have been his team of the season card. So I'm really curious to see what happens there. It's probably gonna be another compensation issue. It's gonna take a couple of days, kind of like the Musa Sissoko and that whole compensation issue at the beginning of Tot's most consistent. And honestly, it's been just an abysmal year for EA in terms of mistakes, in terms of you know just so many things that they haven't been tweeting about, that they haven't been talked about that they've messed up this year. Like even this Origi card right now, man of the match item Origi. He has a dynamic image right there on the game. And I haven't seen this card yet have a dynamic image when I actually look at the card in the game. And there have not been any Champions League man of the match items with that same card design that have had a dynamic image yet in FIFA. We've had many of those cards. Okay, there is a dynamic image, so it is in the game, which is, okay. They can have dynamic images for those cards. Wish we would have seen them earlier, but that's not the point. For the rest of this week, I want to get focused on that. A lot of you guys probably want to know, hey, when do I need to buy some of these Team of the Season cards? Some of them are just ridiculously low. Some of them have kind of rebounded, um, but I think they're going to continue to kind of trickle down in price heading into Tuesday. Um, and I honestly think at Thursday Rewards, they're going to go lower. Um, the, the hype for this Team of the Season is definitely not as high as it was for the Bundesliga or even for the Premier League, Premier League especially. And I do think you're gonna see some of these cards take a hit in price, um, but I do believe their lowest is gonna be for the OP, for the most meta cards. And for those guys, I will tell you, I think those players are Jordi Alba, PK, um, Benzema actually is, is, you know, I see a lot of people looking to use that card, Hermoso, Ben Yedder, and Santi Cazorla. 
So there's kind of a mixture of some high-rated and some low-rated guys in there in terms of their rating and their pack weight. But this Hermoso card jumps around all the time. So many people are trying this card out, and that's for good reason. I mean, if you look at his graph today, I bet he hit 66,000 coins. Right now he's 80K. In the middle of the day on Saturday when all those packs were released, he went to 57K, rebounded to 80 really quick. So there's a lot of people trying that card out. I also see a lot of people using this Jordi Alba card, and the SBCs we've gotten for all these new center backs really helps that popular card in the game. And probably a decent player, honestly. Jordi Alba, I think I picked him up on Saturday for 350 right in this time frame. And I did sell him for 400,000 coins. So again, watch some of these cards to be panic sold again on Tuesday. And that'll be an opportunity for us to invest in those cards again. And to uh, make some coins on those if you want to get them in your team. I know that some people, you know, they want that Griezmann card in their team. Or they want that Suarez in their team. Um, or maybe even the Sarabia or the Messi or the Benzema. Some of these guys are hitting, you know, pretty decently cheap prices. Especially considering this Messi. There is other 99 Messi's in the game, um, and that one's his second best card. The This is the real card that really confuses me, and I don't understand what's going on with it. This card is 840,000 coins, and I think it's just because of his player build, and people don't like his player build, but I would have expected that card to be a lot more expensive uh, in this game. But for the rest of this week, do I think we will see the supply for the UCL cards? I don't think we're going to see it. There's two days remaining for this. If they put an SBC out like the UCL upgrade SBC, which is possible, but I don't think it's likely to happen. Um, I think we're just going to be left hanging with this SBC. Champions League content is probably done in FIFA. Maybe they will re-release stuff at the end of the year, do like a Champions League throwback or a flashback or like a look back on Champions League throughout the year. And this was, this was a cool SBC at the time when it came out, but it's just impossible to complete now if you don't have those cards in your club already through the rest of this week i would expect another flashback sbc i know we kind of had a flashback with diego godin but i do expect we'll get either another tots moments um sbc a team of season player sbc or another flashback maybe even two more player sbcs obviously on thursday we'll probably get the la liga tots challenge and the super league tots challenge sbcs uh, for some tradable packs and then weekend league rewards happening on that day as well but again for the market this week if you have some of these higher rated um you know kind of the meta cards um you know like the coutinho's some of these other la liga cards that are meta that people are going to use um there's some good investments with this code those cards out there for sure and i think they are going to continue rising throughout the rest of this week but you're going to want to start watching your investment ideas for the Siri A as well, because that is the next team of the season that's going to be coming, and those cards, people are going to start looking at those cards to invest in them um, earlier and earlier, it seems. And obviously, this week you saw a lot of these cards go up in price. The market is very rich right now, and they're going to continue going up in price through the rest of this week. Um, I'm talking about these La Liga cards, but that's why I'm mentioning the Siri A. Um, just kind of throwing that out there because I do think um, there's just going to be a lot of hype placed around this league, especially because there's going to be a Tots Cristiano Ronaldo. Everybody wants to try out that card. Everybody wants to get a version of Ronaldo on their team, and he's only a million coins now, under a million coins on Xbox, which is crazy cheap for what he's been in the years past. So throughout the rest of this week, it's going to seem like a normal week of team of the season. I'm going to be hammering upgrade packs. There's going to be a bunch of rewards being opened on Thursday, and you know other things that are going to happen throughout the week. A couple player SBCs, Maybe EA is kind of have some discussion with us about what's going on with the UCL marquee matchups. But one thing that I wanted to make point of, and I think we might not see a lot of people interacting from EA this week on FIFA 19 stuff. This weekend on Saturday, I think it is the 8th, there is a big conference happening in California, I believe, EA Play, and they're going to be releasing FIFA 20 concept stuff. So they're going to be talking about FIFA 20 all week this week and that's what they're going to be worried about they're going to be flying out there getting ready um so i don't don't really think that we're going to get anything super spectacular and super specific um for the rest of this promo they're probably going to have the Serie A uh, team of the season players pre-recorded they're going to push the button put them into the game um and that's how it's going to be for the rest of this week i wouldn't expect a lot of communication from some of the ea guys 
um, outside of maybe the first couple days this week with whatever is going on with that SBC. So that's one thing to keep in mind. We're going to have some FIFA 20 information at the end of this week, but it's going to be another week of team of the season. Again, if you're looking to get some of these cards in your teams, um, I'm looking at Tuesday to be the buy day for those, unless it's a lower rated card, you know, like a Dejene, uh, maybe an Oblak, Jesus Navas, Parejo, Canales. If you want one of these lower rated guys, it's going to have a lot of pack luck, even Hermoso. I'm thinking that on Thursday is going to be your buy time when the rewards come out, because last week, the cards that were meta that people wanted to use, I'm thinking of Nabry, I'm thinking of Witzel, DaCosta, Kimmich, and Brandt. Those cards shot up a ton from Monday and then after the SBC came out on Tuesday, they shot up a ton until Thursday, took a little bit of a hit, and then went up again higher for Weekend League. So this week, again, Jordi Alba, PK, um, Ben Yedder, Cazorla, Hermoso, and maybe even Iago Aspas. That card kind of seems to fluctuate a lot. Watch those cards to rise after the SBC on Tuesday, maybe not Santi Cazorla and Hermoso because a lot of people will probably get those cards from the guaranteed SBC. Um, but a guy like Ben Yedder, who actually has a decent amount of supply on the market, I do like his card just because I see it being purchased all the time. So many people are using this Ben Yedder card because it, it's a very good card. His player build is very OP. People like to use him, and he is up a decent amount from where he was. So if you see a little bit more panic, uh, maybe if he goes under 1.3 on Xbox where he was Sunday night or Saturday uh, night when we had all those packs being out, that could be a possible buy window for that card. One last thing that I want to take a look at. We're looking at, let's move this over here a little bit for you guys to see. We're looking at the high rated golds once again. And this is getting interesting because these cards are getting pretty cheap. 85s, 9,000 coins, 86s. You know, just watch these cards and it's probably a decent time to do a club stock, especially on some of these higher, higher rateds. What's pushing them down is these team of the season cards like Canales, like Parejo being 93 rated and being like 70K when they're packed a bunch. So that's really gonna lower the prices of some of these cards because you can just buy one of those Parejos 93 rated card and do an easy SBC with it with the rating. So, and then some of these other TOTS cards, um, who else am I thinking of here? There's a 90 rated, like Borja Iglesias was really cheap. Ever Benega for an 89 rated card. Saturday night when all those SBCs were, the packs were, were hitting the market. Let's look at Saturday. Yeah, 40,000 coins this card hit at one point. That's really gonna impact these cards because that's the cheapest 89s in the game are 40,000 coins. So it is club stock time again, and you're gonna wanna be able to do that because um, there's gonna be more SBCs that continue to come. Obviously, get a club stock in before the La Liga guaranteed team of the season SBC. Everybody's gonna be doing that on Tuesday. If you get a club stock in before then, you might be able to make some coins and do that SBC. Uh, for a little bit cheaper. So if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it, and hopefully we get some good SPCs throughout the rest of this week, and maybe even they change up the upgrade SPCs so we get the ones that we've been asking for this entire time. That would be very nice. Um, I wouldn't hold your hopes up for that, but I would really like to see it, and I'm sure you guys would as well. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new with notifications on. It's been your boy Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.